On a very windy Yellowstone morning in June, my daughter and I hiked to the summit of Bunsen Peak. The hike is 4.4 miles out and back of pure adrenaline rushing awesomeness. Now this hike was very steep at times and sometimes the trail is hard to find with all the snow on the ground. But when we reached the radio communication tower at the summit, we felt like we were on top of the world. So sit back and relax friends and join Abigail and I as we hike to the summit of Bunsen Peak. Hey gang, what is going on? I'm on the move once again and today we're in Wyoming here at Yellowstone National Park and we're going to be hiking up to the top of Bunsen Peak here and we'd like you to come along with us. Whoa, whoa, no. No throwing in the snow. That snow looks really dirty. I wouldn't, I wouldn't need that. <laughs> And now we're approaching our very first view, and it's a grand one. The road below is Grand Loop Road. Here we are overlooking the Golden Gate Canyon area, and it is beautiful. Yellowstone is certainly a special place. So since we're in bear country, we gotta be protected. We've got the holster here. We've got bear spray. Just uh, take that clip off and we're good to go. But hopefully, we're not gonna need this at all. That's the plan. But we gotta be prepared out here. And as another added defense, to let people and animals know that we're around, Abigail's got a whistle here. You want to blow it? <whistles> All right. So when you're out here, you want to make some noise sometimes to let other animals know that you're around. So we like to do things like this. Everywhere, everywhere you, you look, look, everywhere you go. Now the peak was first ascended by two men in 1871, but the peak wasn't named until 1872, and it was called Observation Mountain, but the name didn't stick. So then it was named Bunsen Peak, after the German chemist Robert Bunsen, who was the inventor of the Bunsen burner, and responsible for early work theories on volcanic geyser theories. Snowbank! All right, we've got some snow blazing. All right, gang, look at this. Oh my gosh. These protruding rock outcroppings are known as Cathedral Rock, and it's a beautiful sight. We rested here and hung out for a few minutes. It was so beautiful here. How you doing so far? Pretty good. Pretty good? Is that something? Wow. It's incredible, incredible views. That's why I wanted to do this hike so badly. Lots of snow up here. Lots of snow! Should have brought my skis. Could have skied down, or we could have sledded down the mountain. Woo! Bunsen Peak. This hike. It's no joke. <laughs> but these views, oh my gosh. Pretty phenomenal. We are just about to the top. 
I'm happy about that. And we finally made it to the top. There's the uh, communications little cabin. We got a little tower out here. Uh, it's windy up here. Whew. We gotta sign that hiker log. We made it. We did it. Whoa. Almost fell. Give me five. Good job. What an incredible hike this was. I'm so glad that I got to do this with my daughter. It was a tough hike, but we enjoyed it every step of the way. And the views at the summit were amazing. 360 degrees all around. There's stuff to write with? Yeah. You write our names in it? No, it's in my child or something. Oh. <laughs> Radio shop. Now on our hike, we didn't see any black bears or grizzlies but we did see a lot of bear scat. So just be prepared and be mindful that bears are on this trail and you could see one. Well gang, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come here to Yellowstone National Park here in Wyoming. And I hope you'll come to Bunsen Peak and climb to the top just like we did. Well gang, as always, I'd just like to mention to you to be excellent to each other. Well, I feel the rain. Do you feel the rain? Yes. Yeah, we gotta get going, gang. So uh, we'll see you soon in another video. So video is now over.